Hey there, I am Christine from Play to Grow. And in this video, I want to share with you some of the top reasons that you should be using Google Jamboard for your teletherapy sessions. I think it's safe to say that this year we've all become completely inundated, overwhelmed with learning all these different apps and tech tools that we can use during teletherapy. And I don't want to share this with you uh, as a way of putting something else on your plate, but I think that this app can be incredibly useful and flexible and really meet a lot of your needs that you might be using like kind of a smattering of different apps for. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through some of the really cool ways that Jamboard can be used for teletherapy. All right, so the number one cool thing about using Google Jamboard, we've kind of gotten into the habit of thinking that, you know, we're using these digital tools and then at some point in time, we're gonna go back to in-person learning and it's all gonna go out the window. But the really cool thing is we can continue using Jamboard as an in-person tool once we're seeing kids live in the clinic or in schools again. So we could pull up um, our Jamboards on a computer. We could pull them up on an iPad. We could pull them up on a smart board in the classroom, right? We can continue using these tools that we've designed forever and ever and ever and ever. Whereas if you were using something like Therapy Putty or a TheraBand or a Balance Disc, that's gonna wear out at some point. You're gonna have to buy another one. But these digital tools, they're gonna be around for as long as we wanna continue using them. This year, we're getting kids in the habit of accessing these tools, which means going forward, how much easier is it to share a home exercise program, a homework assignment? If kids miss a session with us in the clinic or at school, that we can send this information along to parents to help them practice these skills. All right, so the next big thing about Google Jamboard is that you can use materials you've already created. Now, I know you're like, oh my gosh, Christine, I don't want to start from scratch. I don't want to have to learn something from the beginning. And you don't have to. It's really easy to use Google Jamboard because it uses a lot of the same uh, tools that we find in our other suite of Google apps. And we can import things like Google Slides or Docs right into our Jamboard. You don't need to start from square one. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you an example. Let's say I have a Google slide presentation that I use teaching about the zones of regulation. Well, I'm a little bit limited in Google slides, right? It's not very easy to have kids write on here. There's, you know, inserting text boxes and things like that. It's not easy to do drag and drop. And these are all features that are available to me in Jamboard. So if I have a Google slide that I've been using with kids, I can go ahead and take that slide and I can move it over to Jamboard simply by downloading it as an image. Super easy. I'm going to go back into Jamboard, open up a new one, and I can insert that slide right into my Jamboard. Now, once I have it there, the possibilities are endless. All right, so now that I have imported my slide into Google Jamboard using this material that I already had created, I have a few different tools available to me that aren't easily available in other apps. So the first one is my pen tool. Within the pen tool, I have the option for a pen, a marker, a highlighter, or a paintbrush, and a few different colors. So this app makes it very easy to go ahead and draw on the screen, either for you or for your student. So I can go ahead and say, all right, let's go ahead and draw an emoji of what each of these zones might look like. I also have the ability to add an image. So maybe I'm working on uh, my student typing or searching for things online. I can have them do a Google image search and say, uh, find for me examples of different strategies I might use for each of the zones. So maybe I have a student that really enjoys doing mindful breathing or using bubbles to breathe. So they'll, they'll search for bubbles and they can, they can find an image and they can insert it and say, oh, you know, when I'm hitting the yellow zone and I need to stop and take a break, I love to use bubbles, okay? And so they can insert images there. 
some other things that we could do are we could add text, right? We might want to just work together and make a list of what emotions are there in the blue zone. I'm feeling relaxed. I'm feeling calm. I'm feeling ready to work. So we can just add text into our Jamboard. Another tool that I have available to me in Jamboard is the ability to drag and drop, which means that we can go ahead and sort items. So I've made some sticky notes with different feelings and emotions, and we can drag and drop them to where they belong on our chart. Now, the beautiful thing about having all these tools available to us in Jamboard is that it makes it really easy to adapt our existing materials for just different activities and assignments or to adapt and modify for different skill levels and abilities. So I might have this board where I say we're going to drag the emotions to the zone where they belong. And, you know, this is for a kid that can read and have the ability to drag and drop those items. Now, if I need to make it a little bit easier, I could do something like put an emoji for my kids who maybe can't read those emotions. They're going to look at the emoji and interpret where they might go on my zones board. Now, if I have a kid who's more advanced, I might just say, go ahead and type three emotions that you can think of for each of the zones. And so it's a really nice way to keep reusing our same materials without having to start from scratch. So the great thing about Jamboard is sometimes we wanna be able to see what our students are doing in real time, right? And if we have them doing like a handwriting activity or something on a piece of paper or in some other app, we can't always see it until they're finished. But if we are sharing our Jamboard with a student and they are using the pen or they are writing text, we are going to see it happening live on our screen as they work. So we're able to jump in a little bit earlier to make corrections or support our students as needed. Jamboard is also a really great way to collect work samples. I know that's really important to teachers and occupational therapists, less so to physical therapists, but if I have a student who has gone through and done this work with me, all I need to do is then click the three dots up at the top and I can download my entire Jamboard as a PDF or I can save this specific frame as an image to my computer. And it's a recorded copy of exactly what we did during our time together. Now, another thing that I love about Jamboard is because it is part of the suite of Google Apps, I can assign it to my students through Google Classroom. So I can go ahead and attach the Jamboard that I just created. And when I assign it to my students, it will generate a copy for each of them so that they can do their own work. I didn't assign it to students ahead of time. It is really easy. If I've just created this Jamboard, I want to use it for class right now or a therapy session right now. All I need to do is share. I'll copy the link and I can go ahead and email it out to my families that I'm working with, or I can put it right into the chat feature within Zoom or Google Meet so that the kids can access exactly what I'm looking at in real time. Now, if I am working with a group of students or an entire classroom, Jamboard makes it really easy to divide the work either into you know, individual students or to put them into small groups to collaborate. And that's really what we want for our students, right, is opportunities to collaborate. So let's say I made up this board and I wanna encourage the kids to have a discussion and sort them together. Well, I might put the kids into groups and then what I can do is I can go ahead and duplicate my board. All right. And so when I duplicate it, I can, you know, assign my kids into group and I might have four groups of kids. And I say, all right, everyone in group one, you're going to go to frame one, everyone in group two to frame two. And then they will be working on their own board as a group. And I can move between the different boards, the different breakout sessions in my Zoom meeting. And I can not only talk to the kids, but see their work in real time. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you want more support with using Google Jamboard in your therapy practice, 
be sure to check out our Jamboard Crash Course, designed specifically for therapists like you. Short on timer ideas? I've created a variety of Google Jamboard templates that are perfect for speech, occupational, and physical therapists. These templates are ready to go today and fully customizable to meet your therapy goals. Visit our website at www.playtogrowmd.com slash teaching resources. You can find that link in the video description. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to get updates when new videos are added.